Football, it's more than a numbers game. More than transfers, fixtures or the 4-4-2. The passion we all invest can't be counted. So while the result might not always go your way, when we stand as a team, we win as one. Santander sponsors La Liga, here to help you prosper. From Rob Palmer and Terry Gibson, and welcome to the Estadio de la Ceramica, where tonight Villarreal try to prevent Barcelona taking an even further, bigger lead of La Liga's table. Well, there have been good results this weekend for Valencia and Atletico Madrid, meaning that Barcelona go into this game with a two point gap above Valencia, three above Atletico Madrid. Villarreal is still balancing the books in all competitions. They yet have moved through in the European competition this week and they sit comfortably in sixth place. And there is a case of juggling the players at the moment for Ernesto Valverde, even more so for his opposing number, Javier Calejo. This evening, he's with at least, or without at least half a dozen players, wrong with their biggest game of the season. Barcelona haven't exactly been in magnificent form, but they haven't lost now in 22 La Liga games, winning 18 of those. And they come into this on the back of uh, draws against Valencia and Celta de Vigo. Otherwise, Terry, they really would be the runaway leaders of yes, La Liga. And uh, they'll be feeling slightly under pressure. Uh, I guess these players are used to handling and dealing with those, those pressure situations. With Valencia, Atletico and Real Madrid, the chasing pack, all winning, getting three points this weekend. This is a tough fixture for Barcelona to travel to Villarreal. It's a shame for Villarreal that they are missing influential players. Of course, Barcelona have one or two injury issues of their own, but uh, I'm really expecting a, a tight match and an exciting match. Barcelona warmed up for this game with a home match against Sporting Lisbon in the Champions League in midweek. Hoping to get back to winning form after a surprising 2 2 draw last week at home against Celta de Vigo. Before that, of course, dropping points against Valencia. Villarreal and the new management of Javier Caleja. They were doing well initially under the new coach, but they have also lost the last two, they haven't won in the last three, and they have a pretty awful record over the last few years against Barcelona. Barca haven't lost against Villarreal in the last 16 games between these two clubs. This is a stadium which has grown with the team. They've only been in the top flight since 1998, but it has been quite a magical ride for the team that used to play at El Madrigal. They've renamed the stadium and it's had a complete revamp on the outside and the inside. Very much a small town club, but they have rubbed shoulders with the very best. Well, it's an emotional return tonight in goal for keeper Sergio Asenio. He's been out for 10 months, a fourth knee operation. It's the regular defence, Gaspar, Alvaro, Ruiz and Costa. They've had to improvise in midfield. Semedo, who is a central defender, signed from Sporting Lisbon in the summer, plays for the first time in 15 games. We expect him to be a holding midfield player. And Bakambu, the leading scorer, will have support from the youngster, Raba. Well, it is very much a community club. This is the centre of the tiling industry in Spain, a town with a population of just 38,000 and the ground that holds around 25,000. Lionel Messi looking around. He has a, an excellent record against Villarreal, as he does all teams. 11 goals in 16 games against them, including a couple last year and a dramatic last-minute equalising goal when they met at this stadium. And through this evening, Senor Ibergos Ibengoche. 
was rather dramatic last time he was in charge of a Barcelona game. He sent off Cristiano Ronaldo at the start of the season in the Spanish Super Cup. Well, this is the Barcelona team. Ter Stegen's been in excellent form. Sergio Roberto will play right back tonight. The Marlins starts only his second La Liga game of the season. Maybe the surprise inclusion is Denis Suarez, who had a spell at Villarreal. His third La Liga start. And Messi and Suarez will be hoping to get in the goals. Little Messi, the leading scorer in the Spanish first division with 13 goals. Villarreal try to find a team together. They've only been beaten once here so far this season. And that was in their last home game against Sevilla. And all of the clubs under new management. And next to Valverde having to show some imagination with his team selection. Barcelona. Kicking off, hoping that they can extend the lead at the top of the table. Only two points at kickoff time. It's been a very good weekend. Well, for Real Madrid, the two closest teams, Valencia in second place and Atletico in third. But for Real, especially this tight chocolate box of a stadium, will make life difficult for Valverde's team. Gerard Piquet doesn't exactly have a fan club everywhere he goes. He's playing the pantomime baddie tonight. It's a dangerous ball out there from Ter Stegen. Ridiculously dangerous, wasn't it, from Ter Stegen? Trying to switch play. Across his own penalty area, almost cut out by Manu Trigueros. Suarez trying to get back in the goals. He's only actually scored in two of the last ten matches that he's played in for Barcelona. And our UK audience will be singing at home with the radiators on in front of the fire, not contemplating going out tonight. You can see a lot of the uh, supporters wrapped up with the snoods and the, the hats on this evening. It's a chilly 62 degrees at kickoff time. PK to Busquets. Sergio Roberto and has played in a multitude of positions back in the right back role despite the signing of Semedo, who has taken the eye when he's played this season. Vermalen. Now they're looking wide. Busquets. Denis Suarez. Play with a, a point to prove. Players will be hoping to peak in the final game of 2017 in La Liga. The Clasico is on the calendar. High noon, well, UK time on the 23rd of December. Of course, it's a big couple of weeks as Real Madrid head away to the Club World Championship. Barcelona can make the gap look very, very big on their great rivals. Denis Suarez is stopped by Semero. There is Semero who had a, a troubled start to his Villarreal career. Little Messi's on the ball. Messi starts dancing. And he is blocked by Victor Ruiz. A glance across from Lionel Messi, who's the teammate. Suarez picks up a, is it? He picks up the knock off the ball. Got a slightly sprung shoulder for Jordi Alba. So it's Dennis Suarez who's taking on the defender off the board. He's in Mario Gasper colliding with Jordi Alba. Played into the near post. PK's head on the goalkeeper. Can only stand and stare. Rakitic. Busquets is up there, headed away by Ruiz. Stands in the way, Sergio Roberto is the insurance defender. Robert Cambu 
saying in the build-up to the game he feels he's confident he can catch little Messi during the course of the season and maybe claim the Pachichi. He's without his uh, regular strike partner tonight. Carlos Abaca, the Colombian. He's one of the many on the injured list and it's the senior players they're missing. Goalkeeper Fernandez Ponaus. The youngster fainted in training yesterday. They put it down ultimately to low blood sugar. It's a scary moment. Spain international Bruno missing as well. So it's patched up. Might be an enjoyable moment there for Asenio, the goalkeeper, as he goes to ground. We'll see Pico here attacking the corner from the near post. It's an excellent header. Good attempt. Just unlucky with Barcelona off the woodwork. Ball is threaded through. There is for Marlon. PK. No panic from PK, but not a great clearance. Rakitic. Busquets. Messi. What kind of mood is he in tonight? And he's bounced off the ball by Semedo. Slightly different role for the youngster Rodri tonight. Normally he's the you can identify him as the, the lone holding midfield player, but he looks like he's got a partner in there. This is Bakambu. Tries to flip it in. PK reads the intention, getting there ahead of Soriano. Normally play him as, a, as an attacking well, supporting attacking player, but they're short of forward to Soriano is gonna be main support to Bacambo tonight. The player was just talking about Rodri there. Very unfortunate to be judged to have fouled Sergio Busquets, but certainly applying the pressure there as Barcelona were trying to play their way out. Little Messi. Now Jordi Alba. The referee gets in the way of the Messi pass. And Offers his apology. Soriano. Flying down this left-hand side is Jami Costa. Puts in a good early cross as well. Soriano's up there and a, a slight test for Tischtegen. Good swift counter-attack from VRL. That's the fullback. Jami Costa. Diagonal cross towards the far post. Comfortable save for Tischtegen in the end. Exactly the tactic that VRL are going to try and use. The, you see a midfield trio there, and you can see the two attacking players as we see PK's attempt. It's away from his marker. I'm assuming it's Ruben Semedo. It's far too easy for PK, and he's really unlucky. So are Barcelona. They're going to look to play on the counter attack VRL, but Cambu leading the line, and Daniel Rabba and Roberto Soriano in particular. The two players that look to join up with Bakambu. Well, Rabber is the latest of many who've come through the Villarreal Academy. He's only started one La Liga game, that was against Leganis last week, and of course he scored one of the goals. Sadly, it was the only one for Villarreal as they were defeated 3-1. Soriano is a two-man tag team. Still comes away with the ball there. Rakitic overruns it. This is the attacking department of the team that has been hurt, hasn't it, by injuries. Talks about four hours and backer Cherishev, likewise Nicola Sansoni. Bruno Soriano hasn't been able to play this season because of injury. So they're digging deep. They know that they can trust the young players. There's Huge talent that's always come through the system at VRL. Well, Ruben returns tonight. Cherishev is on the, the brink of things as well. But uh, at times this season they've been without eight senior players with an awful lot of La Liga appearances under their belt. The experience has been ripped out of the team. Victor Rith. Mario Gaspar, who had a, a slow start to the season because of injury as well. 
former Spain international. Alba. Vermale. PK. Not a screaming from Barcelona bench to get it to Sergio Roberto on this right hand side. Bus gets tiptoes through the centre circle and he's caught in possession. Trigueros making his mark. They're determined to try and pressurise Sergio Busquets, aren't they? Really, we saw Rodri. That time it was Manu Trigueros. No secret that so much of the Barcelona attacking play starts with Sergio Busquets. That's the intention of Villarreal tonight to stem the flow. Rakitic going for the early cross, which became a shot. Rakitic has played virtually every game for Barcelona this season in La Liga. He was sub once that was against Eibar, and he came on in that game. It's a good early run, but it's a fractionally offside, Soliano. That's a menace. Yeah, I think it was. Held his run. Busquets is the closest player. He's looking across the line. And I thought just when the ball was released immediately, I was then looking to see if the assistant referee was going to raise the flag as Soriano made his way towards the ball. It was a fraction of a second, though. Mightily close. It's been a bright opening 10 minutes at uh, Estadio Ceramica. Busquets. Messi. Suarez to Jordi Alba. Messi fires it at Suarez. And Senio tiptoes off his line. PK lines it back to Tostegen. Busquets wasn't aware of what was around him. Gaspar, one of the longest serving players of the team. This is Paulinho for Barcelona. Plays it into the slipstream of Lionel Messi. Rodri. Xavi Costa. Soriano. Back to Costa. Soriano. Trigueros. Semedo. To Rodri. Trigueros. Now the players have come and gone, and the coaches have changed as well over the years in Villarreal, but there is always a distinctive footballing style that they have here. It certainly helped on this occasion, is it, by the former player, Javier Calleja, joining up with Villarreal. It's come over B team duties in the summer six games with a B-team and then took over as the first team coach. He will be steeped in the tradition and the style of VRL. He had a very decent start as well. He won four of his first five La Liga matches, went unbeaten in the opening seven, so he hit the ground running. And his team have finished top of the group in the Europa League as well. It's just really a runaround against Maccabee in midweek. Yeah, nice and compact, aren't they, Villarreal? At times, Barcelona have flickered into action in the final third. Villarreal being careful, defending deep. There's not too much space in behind. We've seen Messi making a run in behind. Luis Suarez has made those runs in behind, and Jordi Alba, but they're so deep, there's very little room to, to pick a pass out in behind those defenders of Villarreal. Alba, Suarez, Messi, looking for the run of Palinho. Sensible defending from the experienced Gaspar.
this was that run. The Spanish director helping us with a, a line across there, suggesting maybe that the right foot of the Marlon was keeping Soriano on side. So, Soriano certainly pleaded his case, didn't he, to the assistant referee? Suarez makes the run. And he too was offside. Costa. Ruiz. Backhander. Danny Suarez to Van Allen. Rakitic. His role has changed in the team under Valverde. Uh, not to be uh, as impactful as he once was. That's a good turn from Soriano. This is Raba. Costa. Rodri. And Mario Gaspar. Gaspar sees the line and goes for it. Gets it alongside Suarez and an ambitious shot. Good save from Tejdega to keep out the athletic Soriano. Excellent play from VRL. Change of pace. Much more dynamic in the attacking third. Gaspar venturing forward. I think Denis Suarez has to do more to, to try and block that cross coming into the box, though. Good athletic play from Soriano. Hit the target, of course, and a fine save from Testegan. Well, quite rightly, Daffy De Gea is getting plaudits in the English Premier League, and many an expert saying he's the best goalkeeper in the world. But 25 years of age, Ter Stegen may be one to challenge him in years to come. He's fought this season for Barsha, has been exemplary. Suarez just biting his lip there, as it did appear that Ruiz may have slipped. Big save. Yep. The fact it goes down into the ground as well makes it even more difficult and more impressive. The save from Ter Stegen. Suarez hits it into ground, it's on the rise, isn't it? The goalkeeper. Fantastically well, you're quite right, Robbie's having an outstanding season. Good run and cross from the fullback, Mario Gaspar. Good football all around. It's growing into the game now, Vero, aren't they? Certainly enjoying a little bit more possession. It was a very respectful opening ten minutes from the home side. Possibly too respectful from Barcelona as well. I think the onus is on them to, to up the tempo, to dictate the tempo that they want to play the game at. It was a very slow start to the game in terms of it was technical and tactical. And PK's attempt to goal, Barcelona haven't really threatened yet to trouble. Returning Sergio Asenjo. Sergio Roberto. Really been allowed to flow, no thrill. Four to the referee so far. Spoiling tactics from both teams. PK. Busquets. Risky pass to Alba. Danny Suarez. Busquets. Messi. Now Alba, nice take. Messi. Danny Suarez. Albert looking for Messi on the edge of the area. Messi tries to dink it in that. Costa to Suarez. Semedo heads for the corner. Barcelona just going up again. Uh, I think the mentioned that Jordi Alba was looking for Messi. Of course he is, he always does. He's in that position looking for a comeback. It's first pull to call, isn't it, to try and see where Messi is. See if he's in space. Try and find his teammate. Clever little chip to the far post from Messi as well. Rack 
Perisic. Short to Dennis Suarez. Sergio Roberto, said Paul Cross. Soriano bumps into Albert, went back by Busquets. Two fullbacks combined for Barcelona. Jordi Alba, the quickest to react. A couple of mistakes there from Sergio Roberto. Back playing in the right back position. Despite the fact Barcelona spent decent money on Nelson Semedo. He's been injured and he's returned back to fitness. Clearly is the preferred choice of Ernesto Valverde. It's a shame, I think, because he's doing more than a decent job in the, the midfield department for Barcelona. Paulinho. Busquets. But Marlon to Alba. Danny Suarez. Been played by Barcelona. Two banks of four. Messi gets between the banks, and it was a heavy challenge from Rui. Referee keeping his cards dry, but they have considered caution in the centre half there. And they're content to have but let Barcelona have possession, aren't they? Then they, when they do go, to snap into the tackle. It's a clear foul, wasn't it, from Victor Ruiz? He lunges in on Lionel Messi. Good opportunity for Barcelona. Luis Suarez taking an interest. Into the right footed option. Last February, the last time Arsenio started La Liga game. He's at the firing line here of Lionel Messi. He knows that he, if he gets it over that wall, it is unstoppable. That's the keeper's view. Messi. Had read his intentions, excellent save. Oh, he's been a, an athletic goalkeeper, hasn't he? Sergio Senho. Despite having four operations on crucial knee ligament injuries on both knees, it's really pleasing to see him back and pleasing to see him look in good shape. Well, he's in excellent form last season for Villarreal until the freak injury in, in February against Real Madrid. Still relatively young for a keeper, though, 28 years of age. Luis Suarez. Messi. <laughs> Using Busquets as a shield. Gives it to Jordi Alba. Caspar dug in deep. Looks like he's in an entertaining mood this it's, evening. It, no, it's an incredible pass. Really is. Suarez, too much on the pass, goal kick. Jordi Alba sets off on one of those runs from deep. When Messi's on the ball, he must do the most confidence you could have on a teammate. Messi finds him again with a pass. It's a slight touch, isn't it, from Jordi Alba. Allows Mario Gaspar to clear. Luis Suarez was getting alongside to join, hoping for a knock back across goal. Was a very similar move to one that led to the equaliser against Valencia a couple of weeks ago. The Messi pass to the blind side run of Jordi Alba. Sergio Roberto. Semedo has had a very useful game in the anchoring position in midfield. He looked a little lost earlier in the season, just after his signing from Sporting Lisbon for 40 million euros, which is a mammoth amount of money for a club like the Real. Suarez to Messi. Messi just runs at them. Soriano. Rakitic. A slightly dangerous challenge from the Barca midfield man. 
PK, swabbing off the youngster Rava. Palinho. Messi. Suarez continues the run, but that particular link-up hasn't quite worked yet. No, you do feel that Barcelona do need more options in attack than the obvious. Attack so far has been the majority down the, the left side of attack for Barcelona. Messi and Jordi Alba linking up. We haven't seen Sergio Roberto push for. We haven't seen too much of Luis Suarez, Paulinho. Matic is playing quite deep as well. Semero. Rodrigo. When they do attack, they look dangerous, Villarreal. It's a great ball in there. Oh, he needed just slightly more of a touch from Soriano. He needed a, a boot size bigger to get on the end of that. He's performing really well in that auxiliary position between midfield and attack on two or three occasions now. He's got himself from a midfield position. He worked hard to get himself into the box up al alongside the Cambu. So early make a good test second, forced into a good save on that occasion there, so we are lucky again not to get the definitive touch on the finish. Says Roberto. And Busquets. It is Barcelona these days when you look back and see the scorers when they met last season with the MSN Messi, Neymar, and Suarez. Neymar's long gone, Suarez hasn't been firing this season. Soriano for Villarreal. The adjustment from Rabbit, he hangs on to though. Rodri desperate to have the shot. Transfers to Costa, he's got a lot of space here. Costa plays it in. PK throws his, his shins at the ball. Suarez felt to be now flawed there. Well, the Barcelona players and defenders having to defend. Reef. Alvaro. To Gaspar. Rabba runs into Busquets. Play on referee. <laughs> you made the point earlier about stopping the game on a number of occasions, but a little bit too fussy now. Alba, Messi, Danny Suarez. Shoulders and play continues. Rodrigo. Too much to complain about there for Luis Suarez, although that won't stop him. <laughs> Rabo with the in swinging cross, and Soriano gets there and 
bit of help, really unlucky. Yeah, they look the more threatening team. In 30 minutes, they have been third of the game. Both had two great chances, counted only by the, that PK crashing his header against the bar in the opening minutes of the game. Denis Suarez. Messi. Rakitic. It is that stage of the season, isn't it, where the managers are having to dig deep into their pool of players. You saw it with Real Madrid, and it worked for Zidane last night. His team looked fit and fresh with a, a number of fringe players coming through who Barcelona don't have this evening, no Iniesta, no Amtiti, Mascherano, Dembele, Rafinha's been out for pretty much all of the season. Denis Suarez, disappointing. Well, disappointing decision, isn't it, especially from Denis Suarez. There's the one player in that midfield quartet that has the pace, I'm looking at the pace on the right side of the team for Barcelona. Used to be Danny Alves and Lionel Messi linking up down the right flank. Sergio Roberto and even Rakitic, and nowhere near the pace that Barcelona probably need and should have in the team. Paulinho is playing alongside Busquets in midfield. Then Suarez on the left. Messi's got the free roll. Suarez up front. I'm not sure, but I'm sure Rakitic doesn't enjoy playing as a wide midfielder in a four-man midfield. closing them down, they continue to attempt to play this pure football from the back. Alba, Suarez started his run early, he was offside. It's a real weakness in his game at the moment, he's a, a real fault for Luis Suarez, particularly this season, he's always been a player. The striker that plays on the shoulder of the last defender. Just running across there, he's not looking to the other side of the pitch to see where the, the left side of the defensive players, Vieira was standing. Across and it's too late. Just his head down, runs in behind. Surprising, which is something he's mastered over his career, isn't he? Bending his run across the, the defensive line before darting in behind. With top class, top class players, it comes down to margins, and it may be argued that he has lost maybe not a yard of pace, but a few inches of pace this season. Serious consideration to give Paco Alcantara a fairer run in the team. Well, he has started, he's waiting with goals. Roberto, Rakitic, Busquets, Messi. Ruiz communicates with his keeper, all is safe. He won't be showing it yet, Valverde, but I imagine he's slightly irritated by the performance of Barcelona. So far, yes, of course, they're keeping the clean sheet. And away from home against decent opposition. Just that one attempt at goal from PK. It's been the sum total of their attacking play so far. That came from a set piece. takes responsibility it's a couple of times tonight he's been the main covering defender <laughs> Suarez waits for the ball and he's winning over the supporters here Ruben Semedo the pills for the back pass wasn't yeah. it understandably so
against uh, one or two tigerish tackles in there. The referee's doing his best to allow things to flow, but that hasn't been a feature of the evening. Well, it was a high and punishable challenge from Busquets. Kick on the shin and then stood on the back of the ankle, the youngster. He knows he's landed in top flight football and he's got a bruise from Busquets. Uncomfortable for Barcelona, but they've got to be careful of over-egging it. This is Denis Suarez. Not too many options on, there are half a dozen players in and around the area for Barca, but Suarez doesn't get his pass in. Luis Suarez takes on the responsibility. Now Messi, now Denis Suarez. Just holds on to it when right in the centre where the yeah. earlier pass was needed. It needs to be a lot more economical with the, the amount of touches he has. Sorry, Arna. Every time he gets it. There is again. And, well, no trouble this time for Tishnagam. It's actually poor play from Dennis Suarez because every time he gets it, he's not kidding on, head down, run at the defender. The majority of the times tonight he has lost possession. Sergio Roberto, Thomas Vermaelen. Combining does give Soriano another chance of goal, another attempt from VRL. By all means, take defenders on when it's the right option. He's doing it every time he gets the ball, and it's a little bit predictable now. And up against a good fullback in Mario Gaspar. He's coming off second best at the moment, Denis Suarez. Situation. Yeah, the choice to make then he step up and try and play offside, which he did in the centre of Egon. It didn't work. Very well, certainly had potential, don't they, on the counter attack. Suarez. Oh, just a foot step away from Messi. Semedo loses out to Polino. Back into the path of Polino. Messi gets it on his left foot. Oh, closest yet from Lionel Messi. from Barcelona and from that player in particular Paulinho Real determination see a little give and go was kindly for Lionel Messi he's up his options to, to pass the ball out to his right tries to angle it into the bottom corner I think it's in home has it covered he's on target just a, a fraction too early they're ahead of the play yeah but there, there is evidence isn't there that they are stepping up the tempo a little bit more urgency being shown from from Barcelona now as we approach half time Paulino in particular Messi 
Alba. PK is dancing around it, that's where it's aimed. He's never going to get there. A long call back now for Gerald PK. but he'd been helped on his way. I think Villarreal would like Trigueros to get on the ball a little bit more, don't they? They've been preoccupied in the first half of allowing Barcelona possession, which is not their style. Villarreal normally like to have possession of the ball as well, don't they? Attractive team to watch in terms of moving the ball about quickly. Good passing team, always have been. Trigueros can get on the ball a little bit more. It will increase the chances of Villarreal holding on to the draw but perhaps taking all three points off Barcelona Ben Marlon Suarez to Rakitic Chris passing from Barcelona Busquets Sergio Roberto Messi Roberto now Rakitic He's starting from the right back position. Busquets. Alba. Dennis Suarez. Oh, there's a poor pass to Luis Suarez. It's frustrating. Trigueros. Now Rabba. He's shown no fear and no respect at Barcelona. The Young man. Now Soriano. Costa is his decoy on the outside. He gives it to Jamie Costa. Good early cross. And Ter Stegen had to be decisive. He's certainly been the work, more worked of the two goalkeepers. Oh, definitely. And more saves to make. Soriano again involved in the build up. I mean, Costa with a. Quick ball across the six-yard box and just taking under pressure from Cambu and then the post being marked by Van Marlen. Difficult for the central defender when the striker is on the move. Luke was flying in from the Cambu as well. Just looking at the performance of Barcelona in the first half, Rob, a commanding lead going into this weekend's round of fixtures. Just feel if anything happened to Lionel Messi, they would be in trouble. In terms of attacking play, everything goes down to Lionel Messi, doesn't it? And the fact that that Jordi Alba gets involved in the build-up on the, the left-back position because Messi drops deep and has wonderful passing range. Luis Suarez is giving the ball away casually. Not aware of the importance of keeping possession of the ball. Denis Suarez head down, running at defenders, running into to trouble. Well, it's Paulino to... trying to get forward, isn't he? Be a bit more dynamic. Your point is backed up by the statistics. If Messi isn't scoring, Barcelona are not necessarily winning. And... He's only scored one goal in the last seven games. Of course, the last two games have been drawn. Also held by Juventus in the Champions League and Olympiacos as well. Roberto to Messi. Paulinho. He's not only got to score the goals, he's got to make the goals as well. That, that is, uh, I'm joking about it, but that is clear as daylight when you look at the team, that, that how Barcelona are playing at the moment. There's a greater reliance for the sale of Neymar in the summer. And uh, lack of sharpness from Luis Suarez. Roberto. Soriano. PK steps across, but a flawless performance from Gerard PK. It's been an impressive, impressive performance from that man, Roberto Soriano, who's had two great chances. He certainly has to have been alert in this game, doesn't he, Gerard PK, because of the fact that Cambu is such a dangerous striker with 
There's not much pace. Soriano. Good positional play from the supporting striker as well. Vermalen. Just about done enough at the moment. Aided by not Andre Testegan, of course. Big look at the Busquets. That's one too many of them. Yeah. Now they deserve caution, if not for that challenge alone for a, a series of first half misdemeanors from Sergio Roberto. Credit to the kid as well. He's been just taken on Barcelona every time he's got the ball, encouraged by the management to have a go. And he's playing wide, so therefore it really shouldn't be Busquets' responsibility, should it? To pick up the winger that's drifting in infield. It's been the case on three or four occasions. Trigueros hoisted in there. PK with the header and a rush shot from Rodri. Good take a deflection, will be a corner. But he feels he should have done a little better. It's a dangerously flight across in towards the box. Rodri runs inside the corner with a deflected attempt. So PK come close for the header for Barcelona. Trigueros in no great hurry except for the last play of the first half. Uh, first corner is taken until the 46th minute. Trigueras hangs it in the air for Cambu's header. And the final play of a fiercely at times contested first half. Barcelona bossing pretty much all of the possession. PK with a one outstanding early chance but after that Ter Stegen has been the busier goalkeeper twice keeping out Soriano this is a fair old match for Barcelona as they try to keep their advantage at the top of the table but so far Messi and Co have been contained half-time score but Real nil Barcelona nil been tied in the first half. Barcelona started on the front foot, PK crashing his header against the bar, but they're thankful of this excellent save from Sestegen. It's 0-0, half-time. This programme is sponsored by Bet365. Can Phil Taylor end his career on a high? The William Hill World Darts Championships start Thursday, live on Sky Sports Darts. Would you like to see Barcelona live at Camp Now? Go to footballbreak.co.uk and compose your own football trip. Book now on footballbreak.co.uk. We can cross continents and time zones at the mere touch of a button. The moment the game changes, is the moment we see it. I'm with Snapper. We are members of the world's favourite online sports betting company. And we gamble responsibly at Bet365. You want the moon? Just say the word and I'll throw a lasso around and pull it down. Hey, that's a pretty good idea. I'll, I'll give you the moon, moon Mary. Must have watched it a thousand times. Yeah, not on there though, I hope. Eats through your data, doesn't it? Watching movies on your phone. Oh, it's okay. I I've got one of those Vodafone video passes. Doesn't use up your data. Very wise. Enjoy all the things you love without using up your data with a Vodafone pass. She was magical. Obsessed. Calvin Klein. Nespresso Anissia, delivered from as little as four hours. Go Argos. A healthy balance shouldn't just be financial. It's about doing what you love. And if your money's working hard without you needing to, 
you can enjoy getting the balance just right. That's why our 123 Currents account gives you interest and cash back on selected household bills every month. Here to help you prosper. Santander. When guys shave, this is what they do to try to get every hair. This is what we do. Shaving rebuilds with Gillette Flexball technology. Moves like no other razor. It responds to the contours of your face. Gillette. Men's hair takes on a lot. New Head & Shoulders Men Ultra Collection is up to the challenge. Our formula with high performance booster gives you up to 100% flake free, great looking hair. New Head and Shoulders Men Ultra Collection, designed for men. Success without integrity means nothing. Every hour of every day, be the man of today. Boss Bottled. This program is sponsored by Bet365. Half time at the Estadio Ceramica. Barcelona, while well, governing the game in terms of possession, over two thirds of the possession in the game, but only one attempt at goal by either team. And it could be argued that on the counter attack, Villarreal have been slightly the more impressive. Barcelona come into the game with just a two-point lead at the top of the table. Three and a half minutes gone, and they had the first opportunity of the game. PK's header crashing off the post as the keeper Terry could only stand and stare. Yep, it's a really good delivery from Denis Suarez, and PK does really well to get away from his marker. I've seen Semedo there. PK flashes the header goalwards, and Barcelona and PK really unlucky. Somehow doesn't make an attempt. He's nowhere near it. Powerful header from PK. Well, after an early onslaught, Villarreal settled into their game. They're playing with just one recognised striker, but the supporting man, Soriano, has had two great opportunities, and that brought a top-class save. Release from Tostega. Fulfilled the role really well, hasn't he? He's been back in numbers, helping out with the Villarreal defence, but when he's had the opportunity to break into the box, it's exactly what he's done, and forced a fine save from Tostega. Hits it into the ground. Makes it even more of a difficult save for the... Barcelona keeper he performs it really well. Good work from Mario Gaspar to get down the flank, the right back attack him. We've seen him do that on enough occasions for VRL. So Stegen does keep Soriano just out. At the other end, the returning keeper 10 months out, Asenio will be happy with uh, the one difficult moment, uh, reading the intentions of Lionel Messi. Yep, he has an element of guesswork, but athletic goalkeeper springs across and Makes the save look relatively straightforward in the end. But well, despite Barcelona's 67% possession, Villarreal have had their chances. It was a weak shot on that occasion from Soriano, but everything is falling his way. Well, the potential is there, but you can see Barcelona at sixes and sevens in defensive terms, and Vermalen and Sergio Roberto allow Soriano the attempt to goal, hits it wide, well wide of the second's goal. Well, Messi has been at the heart of everything, and that was, well, the second closest has come after the free kick, the closest from the open play. Paulino just tried to step things up in terms of tempo, and Messi a bit, a bit disappointed that he hasn't hit the target from that range. Our two managers will be trying to raise the game off their players at half-time. He'll be the happier of the two. The new coach, Callahan, must do better. The word from Valverde. This programme is sponsored by Bet365. I won the big one. We won £10,000. £25,000. Sixty-nine thousand five hundred and twelve pounds 
Get in. The first time I've ever done the health lottery. A fairy story. I won £10,000. Never won anything like that. We won the health lottery. The health lottery has given out over £127 million in prizes since it launched. Yeah. For £1, could you be one of our next winners? Don't miss out. Playing now for just £1. That's half the price of lotto. Forget anything can happen. In sport, anything does happen. But could it be better? With request a bet it could. Spark your sports brain and roll all the possibilities into one bet. Three red cards, seven corners, five goals. Let's price that up or browse hundreds of request to bets on our app. The possibilities are humongous. How big is your sports noggin? Skybet, Britain's most popular online bookmaker. When the fun stops, stop. Discover cosy candles, perfect place settings, dazzling decorations and glistening glasses. There's more than you'd imagine at Dunelm this Christmas, in-store and online. Would you like to see Barcelona live at Camp Now? Go to footballbreak.co.uk and compose your own football trip. Book now on footballbreak.co.uk. Open your head. Get closer. Boss the scent intense. The new fragrances for him. And for her. A healthy balance shouldn't just be financial. It's about doing what you love. And if your money's working hard without you needing to, you can enjoy getting the balance just right. That's why our 123 Current account gives you interest and cash back on selected household bills every month. Here to help you prosper, Santander. Friends said house. World said kids. I said Route 66. TV said get famous. Lottery said get lucky. I said get your hands dirty. She said this, he said that, I say Arona. The new say at Arona. Do your thing. Hello, ladies. I've missed you. May I speak privately to the man in your life? Thank you. Men, take your body to nature with Old Spice Original. It's what, 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 what. Ah! Don't use original, use her! I'm sorry, what was that? Oh. Got it. Available to buy or rent in Sky Store now. I know school sucks. I know you want to save the world, but you're not ready yet. What's up, guys? You're the Spider Man. No, I'm not. Buy or rent Spider Man Homecoming in Sky Store now. I can smell a rat from miles away. What do you do to the rats? I pulverize them. Bert wants to turn my rat into a burger. We're going to kill your precious little rat. The rat burger. Devour it this Christmas Eve on Sky One. This programme is sponsored by Bet365. Well, coming up here on Sky Sports tomorrow night, we have the final game in this round 15 of La Liga. It's a Catalan derby, Espanyol against Girona. Join us on Sky Sports Mix. That's channel 121 tomorrow night, 7.55. Terry's having a busy week. He will be with John Driscoll looking back at all of the talking points in the La Liga podcast and on Tuesday morning we bring you all of the goals on Sky Sports Football starting at 9am and available during the course of the week. Well it has been an interesting round of results. Alaves beating Las Palmas on Friday night by two goals to nil by Gomez uh, scoring four in his last two games. That uh, was very important for Alaves, who are still in the bottom three, but they were closing the gap on Athletic Bilbao. 
who won earlier today. Hatafi against Daybar best forgotten about Real Madrid with a mixed team beat Sevilla 5 0. A couple of goals for the World Player of the Year, Cristiano Ronaldo. Deportivo La Coruña, an important win for them against Leganes. Adrian Lopez scoring the winning goal in that one on Saturday. And Valencia 2, Celta 1. They remain in second place. Earlier today, it was Real Sociedad 0, Malaga 2. So Malaga, uh, important point, they are just uh, four points behind Deportivo La Coruña now. Athletic Bilbao won with a late own goal in Levante. 11 minutes from time, 0-0 here. And uh, we mentioned tomorrow night is Espanyol against Girona. Sportsman time as the players emerge from the tunnel for the second half. And chatting at half time, Terry, it has been the Valverde way at times this season, has it? To wear down the opposition in the first half and maybe come alive and score the important goal midway through the second half. Yep, yeah, I mean, at times we have questions the wisdom of his substitutions, but fortunately for him this season, he's been proved to be right. Majority of occasions they have scored in the second half with the changes that he has made. I think in layman's terms, his team do need to liven up in the second half. It's a, against the team, Villarreal, they haven't won the last two days, lost both their last two La Liga games. They've won six out of the, the games played so far in the, in the division. Barcelona should be taking the game more to Villarreal. Villarreal had the, the better opportunities in the, the first 45 minutes. And Javier Calleja will be absolutely thrilled with his team's attitude, work rate, and the skill level that they showed in the first half to, to not be ahead. Slightly unfortunate. And Villarreal kick off the second half, hoping to rest a bit of a La Liga slide for themselves. They haven't won in the last three games. They have contained Barcelona tonight, but when they've counter-attacked, they certainly have come alive. It hasn't been a Sunday evening stroll so far for the La Liga leaders. Bakambu, he's got a lot left in the tank. He's hardly been involved in the game. This is Rabat. We get a second stab here, Rabat. Semeno. Rodri. Tijihami Costa. Bakambu to Costa. Bakambu leaves Sergio Roberto behind. Not quite sure what's going through his mind, then, is he? Yes, attempted to beat Ter Stegen on their post. Probably too many things going through his mind. Good incisive play from Villarreal. So that Barcelona need to, to raise the tempo. Looks like Villarreal in 10 2 as well in the second half. It's making belief in the first 45 minutes. Missing important players. Missing at the near post there. This is concerning for Ruben Semedo who's had an eye-catching return to the team. He has been out of things since the uh, third week of September. Can't exactly say he was rushed back in the team tonight, but it was uh, an express inclusion. And it looks as though he's going to play no further part, and it's going to be Castillejo, who's uh, going to come on with just a couple of minutes gone in the second half. Well, it's not just going to be a change of players, Terry, if it... It is the case, it's going to be the, the man who's been holding the midfield together going off and a, a winger coming on. And they're fortunate, that young Rodri is the player that was, has been playing, holding midfield in the absence of Bruno Soriano, the whole of the season, so a change of shape for VRL. Positive shape as well, positive change from coach. Obviously changed off to fix up the injury and to return back into the team. Second half, Castilleja, as we've come to know over the seasons that he's been with Malaga, now VRL. Again, has the potential to cause Barcelona defence real problems. Well, it will mean a slight reshuffle for Federal. One would imagine that Rodri will revert into his usual holding role. Castilleja will attack from the right. Dallas hoping that for Semedo it is. Maybe just a case of protecting him, he's had this knee injury. He wouldn't want to worsen any damage. Flash of heads there. And for Marlon, caught by 
they finally could feel the head of Castillejo. Rakitic to Busquets. Paulinho. Roberto. Paulinho. Busquets. Vermalen. Messi. Floating with freedom. Paulinho to Messi. Suarez makes a run across the Villarreal defence, but yet again he's offside. A recurring theme in this game. Questions the decision of the assistant referee. It is close, but he is he is leaning in an offside position, isn't it? Alba Busquets. Barcelona, of course, haven't been beaten away from home this season in La Liga. First time they lost was Malaga back in April. Alba to Messi, a little obvious from Lionel Messi. Messi picks up again to Rakitic. On the right is Roberto. Costa. Roberto making a bridge for him. Barcelona lose their momentum. It's a foul, isn't it, on Jamie Costa? It does well to, to block the initial cross from Sergio Roberto. Well, this has been a frustrating place for Barcelona to come to. They uh, have drawn the last two games at the Estadio Ceramica. The last time they one here was 2014 when Sandro, now of Everton, was the uh, the hero, the match winner as a substitute. It certainly appears that Paulinho has been asked to play further forward in the second half. Barcelona do get good possession. He's able to kind of join up alongside Luis Suarez. Here goes Lionel Messi. Messi with four defenders, a couple of supporting acts, and uh, the first defender did it. He's brilliant that from Rodri. He plays the same role for Villarreal as Busquets for Barcelona. Here he is, tall, balling, ball winning midfield player. Trigueros to Bacambu. He knew he was offside as soon as the pass was played. He, he wasn't quite ready. Should have been. Yep. It's a tight call, isn't it? Jordi Alba on the left side of Barcelona's defence is the, the deepest player. <laughs> Alba. <laughs> to <Tuba> Marlon. <laughs> to Stegen. He's got a backspin on his pass to Roberto. <laughs> Roberto brilliantly makes space for himself. Dives into the channel as well. Nudged on his way. And the Barcelona bench. There's a few absentees at the moment because Malverde has told the supplementary players to go through their motions. You can never second guess a Valverde substitution. Well, there was trained on Gomez and Vidal, neither of whom we would expect to come on as an impact player. But uh, has been a trait of Valverde. We expect the unexpected. Palinho. Roberto. Busquets. Messi.
Busquets. Alba. But I'll be happy then. Just forcing Barcelona wide. Suarez to Alba. He kept at bay at a great distance. Lots of possession. The middle third of the field, but the tackles start flying when they reach the final third. Messi. Castillejo does well. You kind of have some idea where Messi is going to try and play the ball, don't you, when he's in that position? Facing the goal, just, just outside the box. Jordi Alba to his left. It's his favoured option, isn't it? Castillejo does well to get in the way. To set the attempt from Messi. See clearly Rakitic is playing much more in a, a central role in the second half. It's pretty much alongside Busquets. Danny Suarez. A surprise inclusion in the starting eleven for Barcelona this evening. Not exactly down to the bare bones, but uh, there are limitations to the squad at the moment. One impact player they do have is Alcacer on the bench. And they have the likes of Vidal who can come on and maybe liven things up. Gomez is more of a controlled midfield player. The other two out for well, the other three outfield subs are defenders in Semedo, Costa, and Luca Dean, the fullback. Delay on. Early cross in, and it will squirm, worm his way through to Ter Stegen. A little bit of surprise about that cross, wasn't there, from Daniel Rabat? Of course, in yes, the missing for Barcelona tonight, the type of game where he'd have a lot of the ball. Well, it might have been the player that something different, something special. some support. It's just the who whips the ball up wide and right the first time. It's almost the, the right back. Mario Gaspar is on the end of the cross in the centre forward position. Sign of adventure from Vieira. First sign of change from Valverde. I think it's going to be a Suarez that comes up. <laughs> or roll back to <laughs> Arsenio. A Suarez. Yep. <laughs> D or L? D. <laughs> Trigueros fires it in all just over the head of Rabat. There is Denis Suarez. So Rabat could just be a bit on page now. He's a young player. He's Jordi Alba in the far post. Has a high advantage. Just make his run slightly later, and run from deeper. But the change is made. Paco Alcacer, who's from these parts, of course, played for the uh, the rivals in the neighbourhood. Valencia takes the place of Denis Suarez, who was given a warm reception as he headed to the bench from the Villarreal supporters, who did appreciate his uh, one season at the club. Hasn't made a great impact on the game this evening. The uh, Again, maybe a change of shape from Barcelona, taking off a midfield player and effectively going to a front three with Alcacer alongside Suarez. Messi. Alva on the outside, Alcacer's in there, and his first touch of the ball is almost a, a goal-scoring touch. Good break save from Asenio. The 
referee sees nothing wrong. Looks bizarre over the top there by Alcacer. Luis Suarez demands handball, ignored by the officials. They have little spurts, don't they, Barcelona, where they come to life. And certainly the first half, we've seen it again in the second half, but Alcacer who was the player on the end of that cross. Little Messi. Alba again is the spare man. Alba fires it. Oh, brilliant move. Messi started it, then emerged from deep to almost finish it. It's absolutely ridiculous, isn't it, how those two work together. Talking of one two there, isn't it? 15 to 20 metres between the two players. Touch to control it from Albert receiving the pass from Messi and then shoves it back into the NMC. Just tries to curl it towards that far post. Tenacious play there from Messi to keep possession. And we see Jordi Alba again whipping it across the six yard box. Like I say, getting across the goalkeeper. Good save from the Senho. Like I has been given just over half an hour to make an impact on the game. When he started matches, he's generally scored. He's actually scored four goals in his last four starts for Barcelona. A bit of an edge here, and Busquets is down. And the referee is having none of it from Rabba. A straight red for the youngster, and he has done some serious damage to Sergio Busquets. Well, he has been on the receiving end of hefty and heavy challenges from Busquets. But it was a late challenge, well, initial reaction was, yep, it was a poor challenge, it was late. As we'll see on the replay, exactly how bad it was. Well, Bakambu has got involved in the aftermath, he's received a yellow card, which means that he, uh, he misses the next game against Celta de Vigo. It was a high challenge. The studs were showing. Oh, it's a red card. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yep. It's always dangerous when the player is clearing the ball up the line. It's one that you could have got away with 20 years ago. When it, Busquets is clearing the ball down the line and Rabbit comes across, studs up. Young player, he will learn. And that was worthy, I think, with the red card. Judge Terry has sat. Bit of out down to 10 players. It's the first contentious decision for the referee this evening. If you can make that block without raising the studs, you can go with your laces and then try and block the cross, uh, the clearance from Busquets. But once you lunge across and your feet are off the ground, one of your foot is off the ground and you've got your studs showing, Busquets gets there first and Busquets is clearly going to catch the bottom of your boot. Probably is the intention of the youngster. Well, they would like to bring on Rukavina, the referee is headed over to scold somebody on the uh, Villarreal bench. One of the assistants of uh, Javier Calera has been sent to the uh, director's box. He was incensed that uh, his young midfield man had been dismissed, but then he has to collect himself, hasn't he, and decide what is the course of action. Down to ten players for. Well, 28 minutes against Barcelona. It's a for Villarreal, but Cambo missing the next match as well. Carlos Bathard currently injured. Really struggling to, to find strikers. Well, it's going to be an interesting head count next week, given the players who are unavailable for Villarreal at the moment. Roberto blocked by Xavi Costa. Busquets, Rakitic, Alva, now Messi, now Cassel to Messi, to Alva, easy to defend for Trigueras, every one of the Villarreal players has to give that extra 10% to make up for the dismissal of Rabba. That was an adventurous and deliberate attempt to beat the keeper from Roberto Soriano. Now they can make the change. This could be Soriano's last act. No reflection on his performance, he's been dynamic. And 
the nearest player to scoring a goal on several occasions tonight, but he accepts that he has to come out. And Rukavina will try to shore up midfield for Villarreal. Two changes forced on the manager in the second half. Rakitic to Alba. Roberto, teaser for the fullback. Alcacer. Alba. Busquets, PK to Rakitic. Now, Alba, it's all been a little one-sided when Barcelona attack. Yep, and I can understand the, the substitution very well from VRL. Cavino is a right back. And he's been brought on to shore things up in midfield ahead of Mario Gaspar. He's trying to put a stop to Messi and Jordi Alba. Finding space in that left wing position. Messi. Alba again. Hangs it in the air. Easy for Rodri to defend. Trigueros. I want to say one sided, I mean lopsided because everything for Barcelona has come down this left hand side. Rakitic. Receiving ball in, a little bit of panic. Good defending though from Kaspar. Now Trigueros. Rodri slips through the challenges. Backhand boot. It's clawed by Kamala. Of course, Villarreal supporters are going to plead that every challenge is as bad as the challenge from their youngster Rappa, which caused the red card. Sure, I think the camera get the touch, yes. He does, doesn't he? What a foul. Then Marlon gets away with pointing to the referee exactly where he placed. Touched the ball, he didn't. That's the game plan now from Vera Al, isn't it? Two banks of four, but Cambu staying up front. They know that he's got the pace to outstrip the PK and the Marlon. Remember last year when Barcelona were held to a nil-nil draw against Malaga. Malaga had two players set off. It was the same referee. Jordi Alba. Busquets. Messi miscontrols. Mark it down in your diary. Trigueros. Gerard Pigue itching to get forwards. Second change is imminent. Be an injection of energy in the shape of Alex Vidal. Busquets. Alba. Good cross. So very close for Luis Suarez. Now Lionel Messi. Danger hasn't got away. Rakitic. Trigueros bravely throws his body in the way. And another very close escape for Villarreal. And again, a cross from the left side for Barcelona. Into Mele afterwards and see Jordi Alba the initial attack. Luis Suarez is on site, gets a touch off the far post and so unlucky. Not to have given Barcelona a really important lead. Like the Luis Suarez, who have been accustomed to seeing. Paulinho is the player who's taken out of the firing line, he's kept the shape for Barcelona in midfield, hasn't had a lot of the ball, but Vidal will come on, full of verve and passion. Cavina. 
Gas Bar goes forward. Lokovina takes a chance. Pacan, who's the only man in there, plays it back to Gas Bar, and Vidal makes himself useful immediately. Rodri. Gas Bar. Similar happened last year to Villarreal when Barcelona came to town. Jamie Costa was sent off. They almost won that game. It was a last minute equalizing goal from Lionel Messi. Castillejo. The fans realize that their noisy support can lift their team and maybe carry them through the final quarter of this game. Oh, Suarez. He's just going to have to remember the. Uh, the anger management course. It's something we haven't seen him do too often tonight, is it? Chase and Harry pressure oh, defenders. Big catch to the me of uh, Ruiz. Which gets again spreading the attack out wide to the left. And Suarez gets across that near post, gets a touch on it. Off the far post. Barcelona still can't find. Desperately searching for. Sergio Roberto. Vidal. Roberto. Vidal again says his options. Lionel Messi. Messi. Down. Out the back in Messi. A brilliant move, swashbuckling move, but still no end product. It's amazing how many times they get away of it, isn't it? An umpteenth time tonight they've linked up and this is missed at the far post, it's missed at the near post. You do believe with 20 minutes to go that they're going to be more chances for Messi to link up. Another cuts it back, it's not an easy finish, he's being pressurised by Roderick. He does well to get out and try and deny Messi. A slight readjustment. Rakitic is coming to the centre of midfield. Here he is, is the one player we've hardly mentioned in the second half, and the one player they may be carrying at the moment. They need to make a, a greater use of his undoubted talents. Vida. Messi. Now Jordi Alba. Alba's cross. And Suarez is looking a lot livelier in and around the penalty area. Which gets to Messi, to Suarez. Back to Suarez. Suarez takes everybody out of any years sharp inside the penalty area. And that's the old Luis Suarez. Vintage Suarez and how they needed him tonight. What happened about 10 minutes ago? Because it was almost like a different player was leading the line for Barcelona sense of urgency that they realised time was running out of Luis Suarez. Talked a few months ago about him closing down the defenders, about him getting across the near post, and I'm lucky to see an attempt come off the far post. This was the Luis Suarez of old. It's a great little give and go, he's onside, makes his run from deep, takes a really nice touch around the goalkeeper, Asenho who has to, to commit himself. It's Pacquiao Casier with a little give and go with Luis Suarez again. The changes have been vital again for Ernesto Valverde. It's a great finish, great piece of attacking play from Barcelona. And finally, they break the deadlock. A huge sigh of relief and a massive jump for joy for Luis Suarez. Goal seven of the season for him. He's actually now scored 50 away goals. For Barcelona, very few as important as that one. Well, has it broken the will of Villarreal? Trigueros. Bit of an ask for Castillejo. Rebalances. He has four supporting him in and around the area. The defending by Sergio Roberto.
to get anything out of the game, but the Real, it's going to be on a set-piece situation like this when they can afford to send the backs forward. Messi, another assist for Lionel Messi, creating the goal for his partner, Luis Suarez. It's a drastic change in performance, though, wasn't it, from Luis Suarez? And 60 minutes, done very little. We talked about him getting caught offside, giving away possession. Just suddenly sprung into action, didn't he? He's made so many mistimed runs tonight, Luis Suarez, but that was exquisitely timed. Castillo in a fight, literally. Sergio Roberto. Look quick. at the speed of it, so quick the cameraman can keep exactly. up. Exactly. Messi, Alcacer and Suarez, three attacking players. Good, brilliant skill though from Luis Suarez to evade the challenge of a sent home to nip round the goalkeeper. As he did that, he had the easy task, but it was classic Barcelona, wasn't it? Javier Caleja, the coach of Villarreal, is not amused. He's a man who had a pretty decent record against Barcelona when he was a player. Scored in a win here in that 2003. And also was one of the scorers in a, a thrilling 4-4 draw back in 2001. He would settle for 1 1 this evening as we enter the final 15 minutes. Rocavina. Gaspar. Trigueros. Needs the shot. Wasn't a bad shot at all, and it swerved in the air, making life more difficult for Stegen. Now Rodri. And Stegen is perfectly placed this time. Well, credit to Villarreal, they have got guts. Yep, yeah, it's a super strike from Trigueros. And sufficient power. The movement caused to Stegen a bit of anxiety. This is the power of the attempt for Trigueros to palm it away safely. Zip's turning his back, PK ducks to get out of <laughs> the way of him. Still have Justin, their goalkeeper. Well, he's been possibly the most significant player. Five saves for Testegger during the course of the evening. And not all straightforward saves either. I think we said that something would happen, he would make changes, and Barcelona would come half, come alive in the, the middle of the second half. There has been a pattern of that since Valverde took possession of the team. What you got now is a front three with Suarez in the centre forward position, Vidal wider on the right, Alcacer wider on the left, Messi just behind. 
open the space up in midfield. And Busquets is caught again, this time by Mario Gaspar. Busquets was the, the victim of that uh, wild challenge by Araba. He's just joined us, Villarreal are down to 10 players. The youngster sent off for a, a rash challenge in the 61st minute. It's a good challenge by Alvaro. Interception from Vermaelen. Finds little Messi. Suarez makes the angle for him. Messi goes for Vidal. Vidal looks for Suarez. Rakitic follows up. Now Vidal. Gets Messi. Suarez making the decoy run as he decides. Uh, don't need to make it yet. It's a game of patience. Approaching the final ten minutes. Leading through the Luis Suarez goal. Vidal. It's a former defender in the lead for Barcelona, isn't it? Up against ten men, keeping possession. And got the goal, they can be very, very patient. Denied Villarreal any chance of getting the ball back. Castillo's going on the verge of a yellow card, I think. Rakitic. Busquets. Messi feeds Alba. Alba feeds Messi. Oh, Messi, beautiful ball. Suarez could have been the beautiful goal. And he realizes it. A moment of self assessment from Luis Suarez. Time of year around now, aren't they? The relief of getting the, the one goal lead. He switches it out, Victor Ruiz. Right on the side, Luis Suarez. Costa steps out. It's the way he looks at the linesman here, looking for somebody to blame. <laughs> Hoping the flag was up once he missed the target. The only thing he could have complained about then was, oh, he's offside, but it was a dreadful miss from Luis Suarez, which keeps the pot boiling. He's all round form because of late he's been back amongst the goals. Messi. Roberto. Vidal would like it. Vidal gets it. Vidal's offside. Since his introduction, though, Terry, it has balanced out Barca's play. It's been less left-sided. Yeah, I was critical of the fact that there was a lack of pace between Sergio Roberto and Rakitic in the first hour or so down that right flank, hence why all the attacks were coming down the, the left. You can see the classic Barcelona goal, isn't it? Three players involved, they raised the tempo, finished off by fantastic individual skill. Just to tie the ball away from Senho. Good balance. The easy task of rolling the ball in the net. Here's Alcacer. He was on site. Well, he's livened things up as well. It was Alcacer who will get the assist for the Luis Suarez goal. He made the final touch, linking up. Again, it's a tight looking VRL defence now, isn't it? That offside trap isn't as tidy. Game, set, and match. Lionel Messi makes his mark. Villarreal went to sleep and Lionel Messi is causing them nightmares. Senho left for the unenviable task of Messi bearing down on goal, no opposition. He's been working hard all night, the majority of his game has been spent trying to create chances. On this occasion he has him on the end of the chance. I'm surprised to see him make the most of it. So Senho plays the ball out wide. There's two balls on the pitch at the same time, which it was a bizarre moment, wasn't it? Little Messi just couldn't believe it. 
He took the ball as defenders were gliding into each other. And it was like a Sunday league game, the top end of Spanish football. It was Victor Ruiz, wasn't it, with the, the pass infield to Busquets, who feeds Messi. He skips away. Seven, eight yards out. Pixie spot. No chance for a Senho. It's been a, an uncomfortable evening for, for Barcelona. It's VRL been helped by the fact that Daniel Rabba made a, a reckless challenge, which meant the VRL were down to 10 men. We did see an improvement, in particular in Luis Suarez. We saw an improvement in Barcelona attacking perspective with the changes made from Valverde. Talked about the ragged, tired VRL back four, and it was emphasised the way they gave away that goal, wasn't it? He has been full of life as well this evening. This is 49th goal of the year 2017. Another remarkable year, of course. Uh, he's not the world player of the year. The man with the golden boot resides in Madrid. Jami Costa for Villarreal. Looking for some consolation. Gets the cross in. There is no consolation. Let's have a look again at this uh, ridiculous moment. He just went to sleep. The goalkeeper was half concerned about the ball on the field. He wasn't expecting that. Given away, gifted. Messi will never, ever have an easier goal. It's two centre defenders glide, and it was the centre forward, Bukanda, who was coming back to receive the ball to feet to deep. Chris gets anticipated it, read it exactly what was going to happen. Tough on VRL. Sergio Busquets has given his 10 kilometres this evening. And they can give some valuable playing time to Andre Gomez. As Barcelona do have to uh, lighten the uh, salary load in the near future. Gomez may be one who they will be willing to offload. It'll be one of his final performances for the club. Card for Alvaro for living his mark on Alex Vidal. He's left the leg in, couldn't resist. Frustration from the century defender of VRL. Two seasons, but when they needed a centre half, Mascherano injured, um, TT out. He's come in and he's more than filled a gap, the former Arsenal man. Hartman PK. PK has gone an ambitious run forward. Suarez. Just can't resist it, can be here. PK. Good skills, we know he can come out the back with a ball. Well, it appears that Barcelona are going to have another clean sheet. Usually, don't we talk about their fantastic defensive record? That has been the case this season. The defence has been led by Gerard Piquet. I agree, you, Rob from, from Marlon. It's been very sound again. Messi. He's a decent player for Marlon. Though. The big issue has always been his injuries, hasn't it? He's, he knows what he's doing. He's probably going to go into the World Cup with Belgium. He's played more for Belgium this season than he has for Barcelona. That was a loose and foolish foul from the very tired Mario Gaspar. I think exhaustion was playing a part there. Got there as quick as he could, but the ball had well gone. So 
Well, that Senho guessed correctly in the first half, didn't we? <laughs> Round two between the, the two players, Messi. Suarez could say that, right it's foot in normal messy. circumstances, wouldn't it? It hits a right foot. It's Suarez and Asenio anticipates perfectly again. Gomez. They're going to keep the advantage they started with going into this round of games. Five points ahead of Valencia, but it has been a, a positive weekend for Real Madrid and Atletico Madrid. Wins for the two capital clubs. Really surprising performance by Sevilla against Real Madrid. This has been more gutsy from the team who sit in the top six for Real. Well, goalkeeper gives it away, Asenio to Lionel Messi. Messi to Vidal, and Asenio makes up for his error. You wouldn't like to see him make a, an important mistake like that on his return after 10 months out. He's guilty of the mistake, but he makes up for it. Lionel Messi, unselfishly, could have gone for goal. So is the Tiat Vidal. Quick off his line there at Senho, wasn't he, to close up that gap, spread himself. Well, good ball through, and Asenho is brave and decisive again. The goalkeeper has had four crucial operations, surgery on both of his knees, but to say he's looking the part again tonight, and he's returned to the team. Hit. Collision between Asenio and Suarez. It's always concerning when Asenio goes down. Thankfully, he gets straight back up on his feet. Less concerned about Suarez. <laughs> He's a tough lad, Asenio. Was the ball when he was coming through it via the lead. Some had let's come with for decent money. First injury allowed De Hare into the team, then called Suarez. It's on four surgeries on both your knees. Shows great courage and guts to keep battling back after rehabilitation seven or eight months out at a time. Let's hope now that he can stay injury free. I'm sure everyone, what we all believe, he is a, a top class goalkeeper. Well, his form was so good before his last injury that he was called into the Spain squad and he made his debut summer before last in the national team against Bosnia. He was part of the uh, Spain under-19 team that won the Euros in 2007 as well. As Tony rightly mentioned, he uh, at times kept out David De Gea and Courtois in his Atletico days. They haven't done too bad for themselves, those two. Trigueros made it easy for Vermaelen. Gomez. It has been easy for Barcelona, it's been complicated, it's been a difficult night. Luis Suarez eventually burst into action, it was uh, significant. Going down to 10 minutes for Villarreal with a foul from Daniel Rabo. It did make it harder for Villarreal, who are always going to tire against the team that were dominating possession. Barcelona just, just about had enough tonight. Come their opponents. Well, victory complete. A typical Valverde Barcelona performance. They toughed it out. They were given a, a big help when the youngster Rabo was dismissed just after the hour mark. But Luis Suarez was back up to his goal scoring tricks. He scored a vital goal in the 72nd minute. And Villarreal gifted a goal to Lionel Messi with seven minutes to go. It was a tough performance from Villarreal. It wasn't exactly classy 
from Barcelona, but these are the games in the cold midwinter that win titles. Final score at the Estadio Ceramica is for Real Nil, Barcelona 2. So, confirmation, keep the five-point gap ahead of Valencia. All of the top four winning this weekend wins for Atletico and Real, and for Real, unaffected, they remain in sixth position. Getting tight at the bottom, we'll give you the, uh, the results earlier in the day. Good wins this weekend for Malaga and Deportivo La Coruña. La Liga is really taking shape. And the story of the game is that Barcelona have been given a tough run around by Villarreal, and then there was a, a rash challenge from Rabat. The youngster starting only a second La Liga game. He knew as soon as he'd set off that he was going to be punished. Yep, no, it might. I wasn't sure immediately. I saw the replay and you see him a straight leg. Studs are showing, it's late. For me, that's a, an obvious red card. It's a dangerous challenge, very dangerous challenge by the young VRL player. And that changed the game. Well, down to 10 then, Barcelona began to really govern the game. Lionel Messi was in exceptional form this evening. Look at the speed of this move. Messi, Alcatel on the end of it. Suarez. He scored a similar goal last week. It was Luis Suarez against Celta Vigo. They spring into action. It's a classic Barcelona goal. Quick movement, quick use of the ball. Excellent skill from Luis Suarez to evade the challenge of Asenho to keep the ball within striking distance. Just that touch to take it round the keeper. The touch doesn't get away from it. Excellent pass from Alcacer. And such an important goal for Barcelona against difficult opponents in VRL. Well, a classic goal from Barcelona. The second goal in the game was scrappy. There were two balls on the field. Everybody had lost the shape. They left Lionel Messi with the freedom of the 18-yard box and there was only going to be one outcome. And they tried to play their way out the back, didn't they? Send hope to Victor Ruiz, who makes the wrong choice, a pass. Tries to find Bacambu. Bus gets intercepts, and then it was inevitable. It was always going to be a goal. And Lionel you know, Messi was faced with that chance inside the penalty area. Defenders falling about all over the place and slots it past the keeper. Well, a job well done by Barcelona, keeping the advantage at the top of the table. Down several key players this evening. It's all looking good as we get slightly closer to the Clasico. Well, a quick reminder what we have coming up for you on Monday, the final game in this round of La Liga, the Catalan derby on Monday night on Sky Sports Mix, Channel 121, 7.55, Espanyol against Girona. Terry's hard at work, keeping up with all of the talking points for the La Liga Wiki podcast. A must-listen, that becomes available sometime on Monday afternoon. And on Tuesday, we have all of the goals on Sky Sports Football. That comes alive at 9 o'clock in the morning. And my thanks to Terry Gibson for guiding us through the evening. It's the same old heroes for Barcelona. Suarez and Messi, the difference between Barcelona and Villarreal this evening. How was Spain? They go crazy for football. And you know what? It's totally contagious. When you watch a match, you become one of them. Can't be football. That's got to be something else. Sky Sports Football. Feel it all. This programme is sponsored by Bet365. Every hour of every day, be the man of today. Boss Bottled. Match day's my favourite day, despite all of these bums in my face. The same are coming through! And the clueless steward clearing the way. And we're clearing the way for this cracking offer. Get a £10 risk-free bet when you sign up to Paddy Power today. So if your first bet loses, get your money back as cash. At least we got the best seats of them all! Oh! My bet's gonna come in, I know. The hard fans are leaving. 
That's the spirit paddy power, you beauty. This is Michael. Right now, he's in Sky Vegas. Because with the big bonus bundle, the week is loaded with rewards at Sky Vegas. Simply play some of our favorite games. And you can earn free spins, plus more of your favorite rewards every week. What a bundle of joy. So, why aren't you in Sky Vegas? I'm so excited, it's Christmas time. Fa la 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 la. We just bought these cards online. Fa la 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 la. Each one special and personalized. Fa la la fa la 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 la. Starting from 199. Fa la la la. Making the perfect card is easy and fun when you make it at funkypitching.com. A healthy balance shouldn't just be financial, it's about doing what you love. And if your money's working hard without you needing to, you can enjoy getting the balance just right. That's why our 123 Current account gives you interest and cash back on selected household bills every month. Here to help you prosper. Santander. Likely Loans tell you if you'll get a loan before you apply, and it won't affect your credit score. Borrow up to £5,000 at 59.9% APR representative. Ooh. It's quick and you'll get an instant response. Introducing the new Burger King Long Pepperoni Burger. Two flame grilled burgers, cheese...